Okay, so uh, this is a follow-up uh, video on uh, the one I posted or published yesterday, um, which I made for, I've uh, forgotten his name, you know, uh, but from Togo, concerning uh, his post of 406, uh, he believes uh, his EW10J4 engine, but has an EW7J4 engine is you okay so so let me read uh, this is a comment from him so it reads uh, hello Ikena. thank you for your quick response and uh, excuse my bad english because i am francophone to answer your questions i really don't know what engine is in the car since i saw the sargem ecu I have to go to a mechanic to deassemble the intake manifold to read the engine code on the block. On the cylinder head, it is marked EO, and as you said, it does not mean anything. But I want to say that the car was bought in 2004 and has not had an engine problem so so far that we, that we changed the engines, except that I remember that in 2012, a bad mechanic had changed the ECU for an anti-pollution fault while the vehicle was working well, but uh, we had not believed it because the fault was still displayed. Um, the fault was still displaying. I still displaying. I will do the checks uh, you mentioned. If the engine is, if the engine is an EW10, I have to change ECU. Uh, how much uh, could I find a new one in Nigeria? I would like to know if I can also find a lazier PP2000 in Nigeria and how much. My teacher doesn't have it. I, I believe he just has a generic scanner that is Delphi. Um, if you also have a good contact in Lome, I will take it. I'm also sending you the image of the BSI the ECU and the BSM as an attachment. Um, I would like to, I would like not to abandon this car because it's a gift from my father. And thank you again for your advice. Is that it is reassuring to speak with someone who masters the field because in Togo we have few or no people who master these problems. Even at the Pojo dealership, they charge you money for nothing. Thank you. Okay, um, I forgot your name. I probably didn't go check the last uh, mail you checked that you wrote your name there. Okay, so, um, yeah, you said, um, so it's obvious uh, from what your second mail that yes, we are from uh, Togo, uh, not Nigeria. Initially, I thought uh, we were trying to uh hide uh your, where you are sending from because most people um it's a long story anyway but most ideas do that sometimes you know so but uh it's okay so you have sending this mail from togo and um for what you said and that the you are only for you could only tell the the engine cylinder head is uh, EW10J4 with EO. Even though here in Nigeria, that EO still doesn't start. <laughs> See, there are things we, we, we encounter here that I, uh, if I start to talk about, you know, uh, most EW10J4 engine in Nigeria are not actually EW10J4. As, in fact, most e, EW, what's it called? The cylinder head that you see engraved or marked EO actually are not exactly EO, but somebody scrubbed off whatever that was there originally and now marked EO or find something and uh, engraved or you know put that EO there just to deceive uh, buyers, you know. So, if so, like you said, if it was if you were in Nigeria, I would told you. Even that EO that you see on the cylinder head is still not enough that your cylinder head is actually EW10J4 
uh, saying that head. It could be EW7 or whatever. So they do it here in Nigeria a lot. You know, most people change it and just to deceive people who want to buy uh, used engine, thinking they are buying EW10 g for not knowing that they are buying this the underpowered uh, EW engine series, which most times they use the EW7 to do that. So they scrape it off EW7 and put EO. Uh, so, um, but maybe such uh, scamming or deception uh, is not that in, in your own country or Togo, but it's over here. You know, a lot of people fall victim to that. So, so let's assume truly your cylinder head is EO or EW10J4. So, um, now you said you want to take your car to a mechanic to confirm the block. If to if the block too is uh, EW10, then which is, um, you know, see the block might be the same in terms of I'm um, talking about physical, apart from the engravement and all that, but the circumference of the pistons and the cylinder walls will differ. So that's what why you really need to. So it's not just about the cylinder head. Even if you take a cylinder head for a bigger engine and put, as long as that the you, the size of your piston, your cylinder wall, your sleeve, um, smaller, it won't really give you that power unless you you supercharge or turbocharge the engine. You find a way to boost it artificially, but not you know naturally the way the engine was designed like a natural aspirated engine so so it's important to know what exactly you are using and if you're okay with that fine so uh, on the either on the ew especially ew7 j4 ew10 j4 and the ew12 j4 engines um the you'll find the mark on the block like you pointed out uh, in your, this mail, is behind uh, the intake manifold, right? So when you remove the intake manifold, or the other way, but I'll come to that. So directly behind the intake manifold, there's a, a place that it was engraved. Uh, EW10, you will see EW10, not even EO. There is written, I, I think. Maybe some may even have full name EW10J4, but I know you see something like EW10, so it goes beyond EO that's uh, on the cylinder head. Uh, likewise, EW7, you will see EW7. Uh, likewise, EW12, you will see EW12. Uh, I, I can't uh, confirm right now in this video if um all of the say the block have the full name but it doesn't matter you know because once you see that you know already uh what it stands for ew7 ew10 ew12 so um now yes um one of the ways to assess that place is to remove the intake manifold um of course you know else is uh, some stuff have to be removed it may not necessarily have to remove all those things as a way depending on whoever that is doing it like me for when i'm doing it i don't i just remove the what's it called um the air tube from the air filter housing pull it out from the intake manifold lose the those uh, knots or bolts holding the cylinder head on the uh, no, it's holding the intake manifold on the cylinder head and then pull. Uh, so as long as you are not doing you are not doing it to, you know, you are not doing any work there, just to it assess that place. So you can pull it out, see what you need to see, push it back in. Depending on who you're doing that or how careful you are so it doesn't damage or, uh, you know, damage. Because you know as you are pulling it, it's facing the radiator. So you have to be very careful so it doesn't damage your radiator fence. Um... Or uh, if you are not you just pull, I mean, you have to dismantle everything, the total body, everything for so you to easily pull out the intake manifold. Another way you can assess where this um uh, uh, mark is on these uh, EW engines, especially uh, um 
EW7J4, EW10J4, EW12J4 is to remove a switcher. Okay, let's just say about 406 now because since your car is 406, let's focus on your own car model. You dismantle the air filter assembly. Um, most times as well, you may also have to dismantle the battery uh, housing. When you do that, you see that you don't necessarily need to remove uh, what is it called? Remove the intake manifold. From that air filter house, and if you look the inside very well, maybe you get a touch light. Uh, look inside, there may be um, this, um, what is it called? The two hoses, the upper and the lower radiator hoses that comes from the thermostat housing to the radiators may actually block your the your view through uh the intake manifold by the side so you may have to find a way to push it aside or depending who is doing that you may be able to see see through it uh, so from that angle that air filter angle when you dismantle that page you look very well but you just all those things has to be out with a touch knife, you look very well, you'll be able to see where that mark is and be able to read whether it's, it's uh, EW7 or EW10 or EW12. Uh, so, of course, EW10 cylinder block is completely different. You don't even need to check to know if it's EW12. You know, the cylinder block, cylinder, yeah, the engine block, like the oil uh, is just different. Down there, under that intake manifold, there are some uh vacuum air uh, vacuum lines uh that has to do with uh more like uh uh oil oil vacuum line not even air uh, oil vacuum lines you know for the engine to breathe properly so we should not find on on the smaller ew series like the ew10 j4 and ew7 j4 not talking about ew10 ai ew7 i'm just saying ew12 j4 so with those things you can actually tell if it's ew12 don't necessarily need to actually look for that mark so uh, but for ew10 j4 yeah so you may you, you have two options you can still pull out the cylinder head just to be sure uh if you want you pull it out completely if you don't want to pull it out, if once you shift it, you have access, look at it from the side. Or you dismantle the air filter and maybe sometimes the battery, as a battery assembly, that box may obstruct your view, so you may have to remove it as well. So depending on whichever one that is easier for you, it's just for you to confirm. So now you have you have to uh, that you have to, uh, two ways of doing that. So it's not you mentioned one, but there's another ways you can do it. Okay, so that is it for confirming whether both the cylinder head and the engine block are the same. Um, the reason why I pointed it out in the last video is uh, because over here in Nigeria, most people. Um, sometimes unintentionally who buy an engine or a Pojo vehicle that the engine block sometime in the past or by the previous users changed the engine block probably unintentionally they didn't know that was what they amounted so instead of putting EW's 10J4 you know cylinder block or engine the whoever that wanted the engine or sold the engine to him probably may sell EW7J4 and now try to deceive him with a mount EW7 or EW10J4 cylinder and why the block will be EW7J4. We simply because EW7J4 complete engine or engine block or cylinder has they are cheaper than EW10J4. So people do all those things to so scam or cheat their mechanics. No, cheat their customers. Some mechanics. Some the past sellers. So in that case, uh, if you go to buy without going with uh, somebody that understands how to dictate some of these things, you may end up buying an engine that they've done these kind of things on it. So 
don't take that risk get a professional involved let him be the one to you don't say the professional or the mechanic or the expert knows everything 100 percent but there are key areas you will be you will be able to detect easy you will not you may be looking at the surface level just like you said you are just looking at the cylinder head if not, i did not mention you will even know that there are other areas people can usually check or people can deceive you because now majority of mechanics and technicians or passer they know that for people's focus is on that cylinder head not knowing that even with that cylinder head you can still manipulate it and it will still not be that e engine you think you are buying or the vehicle you are buying is the engine you think it has it's not that engine both the cylinder head and the block they will still manipulate it change it engrave something else there and so okay so i hope that uh it's done um so you said your engine ec was changed um in the past and uh, uh the mechanic uh didn't properly from what you're saying did not properly diagnose the car properly uh didn't properly diagnose the vehicle you just went ahead and changed the engine ecu simply because it was showing anti-pollution fault if i get you right and the fault remained even after changing the ECU. yes uh changing the engine ECU just because it was displaying as uh, displaying uh, the vehicle was displaying anti-pollution fault is meaningless it doesn't make any sense because uh, a lot of things can cause anti-pollution anti-pollution is just a warning for you to scan the car to know why that warning is there you know, so um, just that from the look of things, it means he paired your engine ECU to your BSI. Or it's also possible that he bought a complete kit, used kit. That's what I mean is uh, BSI unit, engine ECU, and the kit. So he bought he bought uh, one that that is for EW seven J four and swap it into your own remember the wiring harness are uh, almost identical if not the same i as in, the same but also you know i was the identical period so it's not like he's going to start showing something maybe that necessary so that it's not connected or no they are they will match so you won't really know except that the engine the ec will start reacting to the engine because the, remember, engine ECU is what determines the amount of horsepower and the engine torque the engine will be able to release to the waves. It's not. It doesn't matter how powerful the engine is. It's the ECU that controls that power or what comes out of that engine. So, um, so when you put an ECU that's already tuned to produce lesser power than the engine is meant to produce, you know, so you, that's why you have to get it right, you know. So, so it's possible that he changed only the engine ECU since the, what you could see there is a gem. Maybe the VIN on the vehicle is telling you it's EW10, you know. If you check the sixth, seventh, and the eighth characters on your VIN, it will tell you which engine is there. So if your VIN is telling you that it's EW10J4, why the the engine is is telling you it's EW7J4? It's possible the VIN as well. No, the BSR as well is the one he removed from the EW10. It doesn't necessarily mean it can't work. That uh, is completely different. No, it means it has been programmed to work with that engine ECU. So the only way to find that tool is if you plug in that PP2000, it will tell you the V on that BSI. From that, you will know, okay, is it the same V? Is it the same V on your chassis or your vehicle papers? If uh, from the V too, you know if it's a EW10J4, even if it's not the same V on the vehicle papers or chassis of the car, you will know if uh, the v, you, you know, was programmed for that ECU from beginning or programmed for that vehicle from the beginning or programmed for the uh, the current ECU which is the EW7 from the beginning originally so so you need PP2000 to confirm that particular one or any um, 
professional scan too, not all these generic scan too. Uh, so you need to do that. So you also asking uh, if um, they sell the brand new uh, e e e EW10J for engine ECU in Nigeria. Yes, they do. I actually bought one for a client not long ago, weeks ago, if I could recall. Brand new and uh, program it for, for the person. Uh, in fact, it's almost exactly what he, you know. He bought almost exactly a similar thing in your case. He bought a, a vehicle. Um, I wasn't involved in the purchase. I bought one before for him, you know, before. But this second one, I wasn't involved. He made it himself only to realize that he was deceived. He was thinking it was EW10J for only for uh. When you now bought the car to me, even without plugging any scan tool, I just opened the engine, checked the BSI, the engine issue, look at the engine. I was like, come on, this is not what, it's something different here. You know, engine, BS, engine issue was showing, uh, what's it called? Uh, EW7J4, why the, the cylinder head was showing EW10J4, you know. Eventually, we will not find out that the cylinder block was EW7J4. So they went and manipulated the cylinder head, cut it off where it's written EW7, put e, uh, EO there. You know, so eventually, to cut the story short, we have to, I recommended replacing the engine to EW10J because he, he just didn't like it. He used EW10J4 in 406 before, so he wanted the uh, 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 same uh, performance or same you know, experience and what he was getting was not satisfactory. So that was even what led to it. It was ready and change engine, change the engine, you see. So I bought the engine, new engine, you see, programming for him. So he didn't need to touch the BSI. So in this case, it makes more sense to buy new instead of buying used. Over here in Nigeria, the used BSI, the complete kit, it will, in fact, <coughs> it will cost more than new one if to find. You only usually see uh, the EW7J4. Yours is 2004 model. So over here, that model, that particular year, you, you, I doubt you. In fact, <laughs> even if you find that kit, complete kit, BSI, ECU key, it will cost more than new. So it doesn't make sense. Can I so I just buy new programming so I won't need to replace any of that thing. So um, it's available here. Very much available. Uh, the price... Uh, at that time, I bought it uh, thinking, I think about 120,000 naira or thereabouts. So, the point is, I don't know the current price now. So, I may have to find that out. Maybe when I do, I'll send it to you privately. Um, so, if you intend to buy, but expect at least you are looking at between 120, or if I let you say between 100,000 to 150,000 naira. So, you do the calculation or the conversion in your own currency what uh, it would be like i said between 100,000 to 150,000 so it will give you an idea if you want to buy from here uh, yes i can make the purchase for you and ship it to you like i've done to a lot of people that live outside nigeria europe australia north america i mean something i'm known for over you know um you can do your research. I don't hide mine. They will not tell you no. Okay, so now you also sent me the images. I'll probably show it later. Um, okay. I think that's all. Um, you said your car is a gift and that. Yeah, but you see, the thing is, but the is is a very good car. It is. I... It's not just because I also have one. It's just a car. It's just like, I always liken it to Pujo 504. You know, when you have that kind, those kind of cars, you understand. It's not a car. Unless when you buy an abused one, that's where you really <laughs> want to get rid of the vehicle. But once your car is sound, uh, you maintain it properly. It's a car that you 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 do everything in your power to, to keep as long as you breathe. You know, 
in other words, it, it's not like that would be the only car you ever have in life. But my point is, you do every, everything in your power to, even if you have to have more than one car, but that one stays. That's my point. So you could keep it and keep buying any other vehicle, newer cars, older car, whatever you want that you want to keep. But for us, it's just uh, uh, as an understanding for your vehicle, modern for your vehicle produced, you know. So I don't know when they will be able to do another car like that. Hopefully, you know, I, I'm yet to see one at least that have aged. Uh, as good as Pojo 508, W2 508, it, it still has uh, some areas where Pojo 406 supersede. Uh, so, so, yeah, it's a very good car that uh, will encourage anybody that appreciates good vehicles to, to get hold of and you understand. So, I can understand why you're doing everything in your power to keep the car alive. Um, so that's about it. Um, now let's go to what you sent. So, this is uh, what well, first image you sent. This is the engine ECU. So, as you can see, this is the it's a gem brand. So, it's for EW7J4. Um, like I said, if for EW10J4 in Pujo 4 assist, um, don't all of them you know they have rfl uh, rfn and a few other json systems so this particular they all use magnetic malaria that's a brand so if you, if you see sergeant then then it's not for even though you may be starting the vehicle running it but then understand that it's for ew7j4 so now so this is the picture he sent to me so this is the second picture this is the psm uh, for those who know what it is, so so this is um the campus uh for the four six, so from the the fuse bus or BSM is uh, very obvious. Um, so moving on, now I, the picture you sent, I I don't know the the artery, but this particular one is your BSI unit, but for some reasons it's not uh, up, uh downloading. Try this several times, so I just took uh, just screenshots of this side, so I couldn't get a full picture. However, I have idea because I know your model. Uh, since you said uh, even without you telling me the production year, that fuse bus. Look at it. This fuse bar is enough for me to know what kind of fuse uh, BSI unit, the model of BSI unit uh, that uh, your vehicle has. So, so what will happen? Like I said, I'll try and get um, cost of the engine is a brand new one. I won't bother about used one, the complete kit. I won't even bother. Like I said, it doesn't make sense. It's more, it's better for you to just buy a new one and put. Especially for that model. If it's the older ones, yes, they are more cheaper. This model, no. Get a new ECU. Better for you. If not, even cheaper. Okay, so I'll get the final price and forward you to, to your mail privately. And um, so if you can afford it, uh, uh, it's also my concern is the shipping cost. Uh, shipping cost because stuff like this needs to be chipped with reliable uh, Korea company like DHL and stuff so I know what you are sending will get to that person and there won't be any issue on the road so that's my concern the cost may, uh, may be outrageous that it may dis be discouraged considering that they may charge you even if not the same amount of the purchase uh, uh, cost of the item or even more so I don't know but let's find out first then we'll deal with that the other cheaper means of forwarding but man it's a risk we get it yes but it's a risk I will take long longer time anyway when we get there I will see okay so um I think that's about it about your email your second email I hope I covered everything there.
um, for those who want to learn as long as the, no matter how long the video is if you are a very serious human being you will understand and would have learned a lot of things from this video but if you are very entitled on serious human being who wants somebody to 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 tell you within seconds uh, uh, give you all the information it took him years years of spending and uh, experiences gathered to tell you everything for free within seconds then I would advise you don't even bother to be watching my videos you are not serious just go elsewhere these are for serious minded people who wants to learn about polio vehicles you know I, I'm uh, most likely the only person on on YouTube online that is focused on polio vehicles not just for Nigerians focus on this brand giving detailed explanation and description and some of my personal experiences to help other people be able to use their project work wherever they are. And some are entitled and serious and people who felt <laughs> that the world owed them, that they, uh, who, you know, I own them, I owe them, so I'm, I must attend to them for free, the way they want. So... Alright, so that is it for today or for this video.